That's right, Aubrey did take some dogs in from St. Thomas after the storm. And although no dogs there have this rare bacterial infection, volunteers and staff tell us there are some precautions you should take if you think you might be at risk. When Hurricane Maria hit Puerto Rico, it stranded people and animals in the floodwaters, conditions that make it easier for a rare bacterial infection to spread. And now health officials say it made its way to the Vermont and New Hampshire area. The pooling water is contaminated with uh, animal urine. It has the leptospira bacteria in it. And so people that come into contact with that water can then um, become infected with uh, leptospirosis. The bacterial infection, leptospirosis, has been detected in one dog, taken in after the storm by a Vermont rescue nonprofit. A handful of other rescue pups have also become sick, the same ones that people came into contact with last week outside Ramunto's Pizza in Hanover. If there were people at this event that had direct contact with the dogs and their urine, they should also contact their health care provider. Here in Williston, none of the dogs at All Breed Rescue have leptospirosis but the advice to folks is be careful what you touch. The big issue with that is it can be transmitted to humans um, and like I said it's transmitted through urine so if your dog does have lepto a lot of times you have to wear gloves around them especially if you're dealing with their urine. Signs of lepto in humans include a fever and flu-like symptoms. If not treated with antibiotics the infection could become serious. It can cause kidney and liver issues so organ failure so that's kind of the end stage and the, the worst case with that. Health professionals say lepto is rare in the United States, but people should be aware of the risks involved with importing animals from distant areas. And health officials say animals should always undergo the appropriate veterinary inspections to prevent the spread of diseases. If you do have concerns, though, be sure to call the New Hampshire Bureau of Infectious Disease Control at 603-271-4496. Reporting from the live desk tonight, Helena Batapaglia, NBC 5 News.